All right, so we're live on Wednesday, the 17th of January, 2018. And we are just, again, a couple days away from SHOT Show. I've been trying to do these posts as much as I can to prepare for SHOT Show, to get everybody ready to go. And there is something that has been hitting the news the last couple days that we just really, really need to talk about. And it's actually something that going to SHOT Show, if you have a business, um, if you're in the outdoor hunting, fishing, and shooting business, or even if you're just someone that is a fan of those things, but especially if you're in business, you need to have a plan in place when you get there for what's happening in the social world. What do I mean by that? Well, for a long time, we pushed the aspects of doing social media and marketing with social media, and it's clearly a future way of marketing. And don't get me wrong, if you can get on Facebook, if you can get on, you know, on LinkedIn and get business, every method that you use to make money and market your business that brings you in revenue is a good way to do business. However, you need to put a big asterisk in front of that now because a lot of things are happening. Now, I'm sure everybody has heard that it was just uh, revealed in an undercover video that Twitter censors conservative viewpoints. Twitter censors things on firearms. You can't right now today on Google buy an ad word for anything guns, gun related, you know, anything like that. And some clients I work with, one of the holster business and one of the firearm business, were trying to work with a new program that I do with. The fortunate thing is the program still works. The unfortunate thing is in order to get the program up and running now, we are going completely blind. Because six weeks ago, Google took everything having to do with pistols, handguns, uh, concealed pistols, anything that has the word handgun, pistol, et cetera, in it has now been classified the same as things like marijuana and drugs and vape. In other words, it's been wiped off of Google's information list. So you can't even find data on what people are searching for if you're dealing with guns, pistols, or handguns, right? So that's number one. Now, I want to show this up to the camera here. These two guys, this is a post that I got from one of my connections, Jason Hansen. It says, just got done with another 30-day suspension because of this hateful picture. Guessing liberal Facebook jail will find me again soon. Not to mention Facebook deleted our page of 160,000 again for the fifth time. Now, ponder that. Imagine if tomorrow... All that you've worked for to build your social network and such was going with the flip of the switch, right? That's where we're at, folks. And you need to have a plan in place. If you are going to SHOT Show and you are thinking about how to gain more business, if I were someone in the outdoor or shooting world today, I would have a plan in place for not if, for when Google, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Reddit, when they all flip the switch and say, you know what, we're just done. There will be no more hunting stuff on our site. There will be no more shooting stuff on our site. Um, Very surprising to me was that there was a similar instance of this on LinkedIn. Now, I don't know if you guys follow the, uh, the folks that have the brand that have been touted on the news lately. Um, about having the snowflake quiz, right? Those same guys just had one of their articles taken down off LinkedIn. Now, for those of you that know me and especially have done business with me, know that I'm a real big LinkedIn guy. LinkedIn is one of the main places where I do business. So it was a little disconcerting. And I saved some things on there. It's a, you know, the article is uh, LinkedIn, the latest platform to censor conservatives by Kyle Reyes. So there's the article, folks. If you ever get a chance to look it up, Google that. Okay. Came out a couple days ago. LinkedIn, the latest platform to censor conservatives. Here's proof. And he actually had to put it on a different site because he was afraid that they would take his site down, you know, his, uh, his page or his site down. So the main thing that you need to remember is social media is changing. It changes very quickly. What can you do? then to push your message out there. Um, I don't know if you folks have heard, but there have been some big shakeups in the 
print magazine world. I, I won't mention names or of companies or people, but some a, a very large name in the industry was just, their position was completely eliminated, right? By one of the big names in the industry. What What's changing? Things are changing very quickly. If you think you're gonna go into business and say, I'm gonna do all my business on social media, or I get a lot of business from social media, or I love the when people say I do all my business by word of mouth, right? It's all the same. All the social media is today's word of mouth. Tomorrow, it could all be gone. So where are you going to go? What are you going to do? Who are you going to use to push your message out? And if your massive social media network went away tomorrow, what would you do instead? Guys like Ted Nugent, you know, their, their sites are going to be left alone for the longest because they're the biggest guys out there, right? The biggest and big companies, the biggest big names in the industry, they're going to be okay. You know who's not going to be okay? The guy that just started a company this year or last year and is trying to get something out there. Or the guys that are in that crucial point on, break, you know, on breaking through with a television show, right? We all know that the television uh, <clears throat> world is also in complete and utter disarray, right? There, very soon there will be no more, hey, we're gonna just put our product on a commercial on TV and it's gonna do great, right? That's all going away as well. That's going the way of newspapers, advertising and magazine advertising, et cetera. The model that they have of, here, give us $100,000, we'll put your television show on our network and oh, by the way, uh, you'll then have to go out and try and sell ads against us, by the way, who will sell them at a better price than you are able to. So we'll essentially compete with you and we will charge you for the privilege of doing so. That model is going away. Now, the funny thing is several years ago, when I said you may as well just stop advertising in print because print is dead and if you're not aggressively negotiating your uh, rates, your advertising rates in our periodicals, you're crazy because they are desperate for ads. They're desperate for revenue. And don't be silly. I mean, you can still make money there, but you need to do it smart, right? The days of just going and buying some ads, doing a massive ad buy across the industry, those are over. So where do you go? How do you find those things? You know, what's the newest, hottest thing? Um, selfishly, I would say that I'm working with a couple of big players in that industry, but you know, in a week, we'll all be out there and it's probably the best time for you to open your ears and open your eyes and listen and look for new opportunities because the days of old are gone. Um, I've got a lot of feedback on one of my articles about the demise of uh, Gander Mountain and Cabela's and the mergers of Bass Pro and such and how that area of the industry is dramatically changing and shifting. This is no different. So folks, Take the time at SHOT Show, add it into your calendar, pencil it in, you know, want to meet with some marketing people, looking for the next digital thing, right? That should be a goal of everybody out there. I will see all of you in five days at the largest trade show for our industry, the 2018 Shooting, Hunting, and Outdoor Trade Show. I can't wait to go. I can't wait to see everybody there. As always, reach out to me. Connect with me on LinkedIn. My LinkedIn is uh, Big Game Ace, LinkedIn.com um, slash in slash Big Game Ace. Connect with me on here, and I uh, can't wait to see everybody next week.